Good morning, welcome to a new market update. The sun is shining, Bitcoin is breaking above 51k and altcoins are also starting to wake up nicely. Does it mean that we are into alt season at this point and which levels should we be watching when you are trading Bitcoin and Ethereum? In this update we dive into Bitcoin and ETH and we are going to discuss a few altcoins on how to analyze those. Before that, do not forget to subscribe beneath, like the YouTube update and also do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram where you can find daily content on the markets. Let's discuss Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is currently breaking above the crucial resistance that we know. So we've got some levels on this chart that we were watching, right? So we had this 44k level, if 47 was lost, we would imagine that we would be falling towards 44k as the next support zone. However, the construction was making higher lows, higher highs, so the continuation is pretty much still there. And through that continuation, this bearish divergence might be getting fully invalidated. But there is a but. We have to have some, uh, we have to hold some levels in order to sustain and to avoid a, any reversal or bearish divergence to take place through this one. What I mean by that is that we flipped 44k, we flipped 47k, and we have hold, we've held the 51, 50k level here through which we broke through 51. So what is the level that we should be watching? Well, 47 remains to be the last low, so that is the one that you should be staying above if you want to avoid any breakdown. But we do see that we break above 50k, so the previous resistance zone here is the level that you want to sustain. Because by staying above 50k, we are getting back into this range construction and we can start acting inside this area here for some uh, probably some weeks and maybe even some months before we're going to make a new breakout above the all-time high. As long as 50k stays, the altcoins will start breaking out heavily as well. Still no big breakout for Bitcoin, still no real impulse wave on Bitcoin, resulting in altcoins breaking out left and right. So based on the daily time frame and given the recent breakout, you want to see Bitcoin sustain above that 49.6 to 50k level in order to avoid a breakdown. When we're looking at the lower time frames, we can see the exact same, right? So we do have this breakout on the upside. We do have a break above 50K, which you want to see it sustain for support in order to see continuation happening on the charts here. So the 50K level remains a very important one right now. And now we can look at Ethereum to see whether that one has been seeing some drop off in the Bitcoin pair in a heavy manner, resulting in the fact that we potentially might be seeing only a Bitcoin run that is always what you derive from the ETH Bitcoin pair. And we can see that there is some weakness, but we should be discussing whether that is based on the fact that we just saw an impulse wave and there was some resistance, or whether Bitcoin is breaking out and therefore the correction is happening on ETH. Such a corrective move like this is completely normal for Ethereum to take place, especially given the fact that other altcoins, and I'll just discuss one after ETH, are breaking out left and right, so the strength is still in the altcoin markets heavily. What other levels to watch on Ethereum against Bitcoin? Um, still remaining the same. If you want to take any entry on Ethereum, I think you want to look around 071, and the resistance is the current resistance that we're acting in. And once we break through this resistance, I think we're going to have a new impulse wave, um, and then we might be facing a run of Ethereum towards the recent all-time high in 2017, uh, January 2018 in the Bitcoin pair. Ethereum against USDT, not much to say. Um, we've discussed the daily time frame in which you clearly don't have any entry at all. Um, I guess it already broke out heavily, so you don't really want to take the entry at this stage. Therefore, you are looking at 3.4k as the next resistance zone. When we're looking into the lower time frames, I've discussed the crucial area that it should, should sustain, which is around 3.8K, and that is currently still staying there as support, resulting in a potential continuation or at least test of the 4.1K level. And now we get into the area of altcoins. Altcoins are looking like 
a breakout is heavily going to happen on all of them. And for one of them is Chainlink, which is currently waking up nicely. Support is holding. Right now we broke through resistance. So what do you want to see sustain on Chainlink? You want to see that to the previous resistance becoming support here, through which continuation might be happening. So at this stage, Chainlink against Bitcoin looks like we're going to wake up to a new cycle. And it looks like we're going to have some serious strength happening here relatively soon, through which we are first facing 7150 7, and most likely we are going to make a run towards 100k. So the area to watch for Chainlink is the one here. But you also know that the money cycle is Bitcoin, ETH, large caps, mid caps, small caps, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin and ETH have been running nicely already and Bitcoin continues to grind. Ethereum already facing all time high almost right now. Through which watching the Chainlink against ETH chart for instance shows you that Chainlink has been underperforming and most of the altcoins have been underperforming heavily against Ethereum. So based on Chainlink against Bitcoin, it is still on the lower regions and lower bounds, meaning that there is still a breakout, breakout ready to be happening on that one. Chainlink against USDT is slowly crawling upwards, mainly also due to the fact that Bitcoin is waking up. Chainlink against Ethereum is showing a level that it's on its lows. And it's not only Chainlink against Ethereum, but also Curve against Ethereum, for instance, is currently still a heavy buy opportunity. What does it say? It does say that Ethereum and Bitcoin might be consolidating into a range for a little bit. Through that, we can see that other altcoins are ready to break out through the Ethereum pair heavily as they are on the support. So Curve against Ethereum is showing support right now. That means that those other altcoins are likely going to outperform Ethereum and Bitcoin in the coming period. And that might be alt season time. So what is most likely going to happen with Bitcoin? It has to sustain above 51k, uh, 49.5 to 50k. If that happens, a new range is, is ready to be made until 60k. Altcoins are looking like they are going to break out against Bitcoin and Ethereum because Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to consolidate. They will have their run until Bitcoin starts to break above 60k in the all-time high. And then you probably don't want to have any altcoins at all. So should you be buying altcoins, there are still many ready to have a big breakout. It's up to you to decide which ones you want to have. But if you're chasing ones that went vertical already, I think you should be looking at different opportunities. That's my update for today. I'll be back later today with a second update. Don't forget to subscribe beneath and have a wonderful day.